Hello friends, this video sequence and series part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched video part 1 to part 12. Example, we are told that sum of first three terms of GP is 13 by 12 and their product is minus 1. We have to find common ratio and term. So if you are to take three terms in GP, we will take A by R, A and AR. Here we see the ratio of term is R. And we know that if you multiply all this thing, R will get cancelled, so we will get AQ. So it's always good to take terms in this form, A by R, A and F, if you are asked to take three terms. So we will take these three terms as A by R, A and A R. So we are told that sum of first three terms is 13 by 12, that is A by R plus A plus A R, this is 13 by, this is the first equation. Also, we are told that product of these terms is 1, that is A by R into A into A R is equal to minus 1. R are cancelled, so that means A Q is equal to minus 1. So, A is equal to minus 1. So, we have found the value of A. Now, we will put this value of A in this equation first. So, we get minus 1 by R minus 1 minus R is equal to 13 by 12. We will just put a is equal to minus 1 here. So now we will solve this. We will take this both this side. r plus 1 by r is equal to minus 1 minus 13 by 12. And that is nothing but this 12 minus 25 by 2. So 13 by 2 or 13 by 12? 13 by 12. That's what we get. Or r square plus 1 by r is equal to minus 25 by 12. Now we'll multiply these two. So we get 12 r square plus 12 plus 25 r is equal to 0. Or 12 r square plus 25 r plus 12 is equal to 0. We have this equation now. Now we can say that this is nothing but 12 r square plus 16 r plus 9 r plus 12 is equal to 0. We are just factorizing this equation. So this becomes 12 r 16 r 4 comma. So 4 r into 3 r plus 4 and here we get 3 is equal to 0. 3 r plus 4. So r is equal to minus 3 by 4 or minus 5 by 3. So we have got these two value of r. Minus 3 by 4 and minus 4 by 3. That's the answer. So a is equal to 1 minus 1 common term we have found. Uh, sorry, terms, first terms we have found. And we have to find the ratio. So we have to find the terms also. So we have a is equal to this and r is equal to minus 3 comma minus 4 by 3. This is the term we have found till now. Now what we'll do, we'll first assume r is equal to minus 3 by 4. So the terms are a by r, a and a r. So when we assume that r is equal to minus 3 by 4, so a by r will become 4 by 3, that is minus 1 divided by minus 3 by 4. This will become minus 1 and this will become minus 1 into minus 3 by 4. So the terms are 4 by 3, 1, minus 1 and this is the value. This is one set. In second set, we will assume r is equal to minus 4 by 3. So the term will be minus 1 by minus 4 by 3, minus 1 and minus 1 into minus 4 by 3. So what we will get? Here we will get 3 by 4, minus 1 and 4 by 3. So we have two sets, set 1 and set 2. So these are the two sets. They are the terms, two set of terms. The common ratio is minus 3 by 4 or minus 4 by 3. So this is the answer. This is a little tricky example. Here we have to find sum of 7, 77, 7, 7, 7, 4 times 7 to n terms. So if you observe this, there is a pattern here. This is 1 times 7, this is 2 times, this is 3 times, this is 4 times. It keeps going. For such kind of patterns, what we do is we divide and multiply by 
9. In this case, we will say you can write the same thing in this form 7 by 9 into 1, sorry, 9, 99. 999 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. to the n times. The same pattern when I took 7 by 9 common, I got this 9999. Why I did this? Because this 9 is equal to 10 minus 1, this is equal to 99 is equal to 10 square minus 1, 999 is equal to 10 cube minus 1, and 9999 is equal to 10 4 minus 1. So we have this is a question where both AP and GP are there, both AP and GP. Such kind of questions when you get for example 5, 555, 555, so such kind of questions you have to first divide and multiply with 9. So we got this, so if I am talking about sum, sum of series SN that is nothing but 7 by 9 I'll take common, 9 plus 99 plus 999 plus 9999 till n terms. This is the sum. Also, as I have told, the reason why we have written this in this form is because 9 we can write as 10 minus 1. Similarly, 99 I can say 10 square minus 1. And 999 is I can say is 10 cube minus 1 because 10 cube is 1000 minus 1 is this. Similarly, 9999 I can say 10 4 minus 1. It keeps growing to n terms. So if you see this is the n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3, n is equal to 4. So nth term I can say is nothing but 10 to the power n minus 1. This is the nth term. Because there is a pattern here. 10 to the power 1 minus 1, 10 to the power 2 minus 1, 10 to the power 3 minus 1, 10 to the power 4 minus 1, till 10 to the power n minus 1. So we can now also write this in this form 7 by 9 into 10 plus 10 square plus n cube plus 10 to the power 4 dot 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 10 to the power n minus 7 by 9 into 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 till n. Now this is an GP. This is a GP where A is equal to a right A is equal to 10. R is also equal to 10 because 10 square by 10 is 10. 10 cube by 10 square is again 10. Where A and R both are 10. So this will nothing be. We can write this as A that is 10 into r to the power n minus 1 that is 10 to the power n minus 1 by r minus 1 that is 10 minus 1. So the second part we can write this is nothing but 7 by 9 into 1 plus 1 plus 1 till n that becomes n because if you add 1 n times that becomes n or we will take 7 by 9 common this will be 10 by 9 because 10 minus 1 is 9 into 10 to the power n minus 1 minus n because we have to get 7 by 9 common and that is our answer. So what we have done, please note whenever you have sequence in this form, for example 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, such equations you can write in this form 1 by 9 into 9, 99, 999, 9999 in this form. Why we have done this? Because 9 we can say is equal to 10 minus 1, 99 I can say 10 square minus 1, 999 I can say 10 cube minus 1, 9999 I can say 10 4 minus 1, 10 to the power 4 minus 1. Thus we will get a GP out of this. Please note such kind of questions come in exams. Understand the pattern. If you get such questions where you have for example 2, 222, triple 2, 4 times 2, dot 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 n times if you want to find some of this then you can say this as 2 by 9 into 999, 999, n times because 9 we can say 10 minus 1, 99 we can say 10 square minus 1, 
this I can say 10 Q minus 1 this I can say 10 4 minus 1 that's how we solve questions please make a notice pattern thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again